Okay, I want to take a look at graphing parabolas and with a focus on the focus. Focus is that special fixed point, and the directrix is that special fixed line through which the parabola has the feature that at any point on that parabola, the distance from that fixed point to the parabola is the same as that parabola point perpendicularly down to that um, directrix. So here's, an, here's a parabola. Here's a nice, friendly parabola. y equals x squared. Couldn't be any easier. And let's just see the kind of features here. So the, it's not clear, but just because I'm such a, kind of an expert at this stuff, I can kind of sense that the focus is kind of way down here. And that, therefore, the directrix must be kind of the same distance away down here. Kind of hard to see that, maybe. But let me just review what that means. It means that if I pick any point over here on the parabola, the distance from that fixed point to there is equal to the perpendicular distance from that point straight down. These are the same length. And that's true anywhere I go. You know, pick a point way over here. That's a short distance here and a short distance here, and it's the same distance. That's the idea. So I want us just to zoom in on this a little teeny bit, just to kind of see the action happening. And if you zoom in, this is what it looks like. And it turns out I happen to know where that uh, focus is. And the focus is really at a height of a quarter. So this is one, this is half, this is a quarter. Now, I just happen to know that I'm telling you that. This is one quarter. And that means that I have to go drop a quarter. It's, that makes sense. That's totally clear, right? Because the distance from here to 0 has to be the same as 0 to this thing. So this thing has to be down a quarter, which means this has to be the line. It's a horizontal line, so it's a y equals line. y equals minus a quarter. And I just want to focus on the fact that we get a little information out of this. The quarter point centered here is going to be the focus, and the directrix is actually going to be the opposite of that in a way. And in fact, where does that quarter come from? Well, it's hard to see, but actually there's something invisible happening. If we were to write this formula in this way, let's see what happens. So I'm going to try to solve this thing for x squared. So I'm going to write x squared equals y. But I'm going to write it as, notice a 4 is in front of there. So what do I have to multiply the 4 by to make it just y? Well, the answer is 1 fourth. Aha! That 1 fourth, in fact, is the same 1 fourth as here. So in fact, if we write our quadratics, when they are beautifully symmetric on the y-axis and they pass through the origin, if we write it as x squared equals 4 times something y, that something will give us the height of the, of the focus. And its negative will give us where to drop that um, horizontal directrix line. So that's, that's the inspiration for writing it in this way. And now let me just kind of show you some examples and rules, and, and we'll see how it goes. So for example, if the p were positive, which is what I just showed you here, so the focus is up here at 0p, and the directrix, therefore, would be kind of the opposite in a line, then what we'd get is a parabola that kind of zooms in and smiles right around here. Looks like this. And I, if I write it as x squared equals 4p times y, that p will reveal that p there, and its negative will reveal the, the drop down of the line. What if the p were negative? Well, if the p were negative, then this point is going to be way up here. I'm sorry, way down here. This line would be way up here. And then where would the parabola be then? Well, then the parabola would have to kind of go down. So it's interesting that if the p were to be negative, then we actually produce a sad face parabola, which, of course, we, we know sad face parabolas. If the p is negative, then I've got a negative type of a situation. And so again, if I write it as x squared equals 4 times py, that p will tell me this location. And its opposite, which in this case would be up, would give me um, the uh, directrix height. Now, this is also true for parabolas that are actually uh, on their side. So in fact, if the p is positive, but now instead of a horizontal, we have a vertical line, x equals negative p, well, then you can see the, the parabola would kind of zoom off this way. And it would kind of look like this, which is kind of cool. 
And similarly, if the p were negative, then it's going to be a sad face parabola. And that's confirmed by the fact that the focus would be over here. And this would be the directrix. And that would force the parabola to kind of zoom around this way. And we get a picture like this. This is really, really cool. And by the way, before I actually do one last example, a numerical example, I thought I just would tell you something for fun that you might get a kick out of. Here's a little piece of trivia that you know, not everyone knows. But this focus point has another really cool feature. Because if you take this focus point and you put a light right there, you put a light bulb right there, and you let the beam of light just kind of travel like and hit this, you know where it's going to bounce off? Exactly parallel to the x-axis. If you put the beam of light and have it hit here, exactly bounces off parallel. And this is one of the mechanisms, the mirrored mechanisms used in flashlights and illumination. They use a shape like this because it has the feature that when you project light, all the light chimes in the same beams. Isn't that kind of cool? That's a little piece of trivia fact. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Anyway, let's take a look at an example. I want to graph this parabola, x minus 2y squared equals 0. And let's do it by actually finding the focus and then finding the, um, the directrix. And then we'll do all the other stuff. Now, notice that this is of the form a y squared thing. So I want to solve this for a y squared. This is going to be one of those parabolas that opens up either this way or that way. We have to figure out which one. But we'll do that once we solve and see the y squared. So in this case, <clears throat> I see solving this for y squared. I'll bring this over. And I see 2y squared equals x. And then I have to divide both sides by 2. And so I see y squared equals 1 half x. But remember, the trick is to always write it and force a 4 in there. So what do I have to put in here so that the resulting answer will be a half? Well, 1's too big. Uh, a half would make this a 2. A fourth would make it a 1. And an eighth would actually make it just right, because then this cancels and I get a, a 2. Well, that's the p. So our p equals an eighth, which means what? It means that our vertex is going to be located at, and since this is going to be a parabola that opens this way or that way, we know that the vertex is going to be at a location of 1 eighth comma 0. It's going to be on the x-axis. And that also tells us where our directrix is going to be. Our directrix, which is going to be a, a, a vertical line, is going to be an x equals the opposite of the p, so minus an eighth. So these are two little pieces of facts that we should kind of keep in our head as we try to sketch the graph of this. And if we try to do that, we see the uh, vertex is going to be at an eighth comma. Now, let's just make sure that everybody is happy. Uh, yeah, this is not I'm, a vertex. Uh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is the focus, obviously. This is the focus. Vertex is, of course, where the turning point is. We haven't found that. This is the focus. This is the point where all the action is. You should focus on the focus. So 1 eighth comma 0. So this is 2. This is 1. So 1 eighth. Boy, that's going to be really, really hard to see. But it's maybe right around here. That's not a point on the curve. That is just the focus. And then the directrix is x equals minus an eighth. Again, hard to see. It's a little vertical line. And our actual graph is going to kind of reside in between there and be equidistant from both. So it's going to kind of go inside there and go through the origin, of course, because 0, 0 uh, satisfies that. So it's going to kind of go right around that dot like this. And so to get points, we can just plot some points. Here's a plot of some points. And if we plot these points real fast, so um, x equals 8. That's over here. y equals negative 2. I'll put a point right there. And if uh, x equals 2, y equals negative 1. And if x equals 2, y also equals 1. And if x equals 8, it also equals 2. And now you start to see. And we know it goes through the origin, by the way. And so can you see how it's going to go right through? Kind of like an orbit, if you will. It is almost like an orbit, really. It's an extended orbit. It goes right around the moon, comes out like a satellite. 
kind of looks like that. And there's uh, the focus, and there's the directrix. And a much nicer picture of it, by the way, looks like this. So that's a pretty picture. Of course, I like mine better. But the point is that if I pick any point here, the distance from the focus to there is equal to the perpendicular to the horizontal distance, perpendicular to that. Those two green distances are the same, always, always, always. So there you can see really wonderful examples of, of graphing a parabola and seeing how it connects to the focus and to the directrix. Cool. Have fun thinking about your focus, and I hope you focus on the directrix. <laughs> Look at me, I made a little joke.